We're now going to use the neural net that we uh, trained in the previous video uh, for the data set involving around 260 homes sold in Roseville, Minnesota in 1997. It trained on 80% of the data and uh, was tested on 20% of the data, but we now want to use it for predicting home sales. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight just a few of our values in the database and copy that over to a blank spot on the spreadsheet. And uh, I'm going to tell Neural Nest that this is a new database to use, so I'll click someplace in the box, go to Dataset Manager, say I have a new dataset. Dataset number two is fine. If you want to give it a different name, go right ahead. I click in the Excel range, go to the spreadsheet and highlight that set of values. And that will now be a new data set. We do have to go through and reset or explain to Neural Tools that the price is actually an independent, or sorry, a dependent numerical variable. It's what we want to predict. Bedrooms, bathrooms, finished square feet, and age are all independent. Year built is not going to be used in this neural net. And the style is an independent. It's a predictor variable, categorical variable. We'll click on OK. I'm going to erase the price from our price values so that we'll have something to predict. And now I'll choose Predict on our menu. Tell it to use Dataset 2. And the window that pops up says use data set 2 on the net that was trained on data set 1, which is exactly what I want to do. I'm going to enable live prediction. You'll see why in a moment. I'll click on next. And I'll click on predict. Let me scroll over just a little bit. These are the predictions based on uh, these particular values. If you want them to show up over here, you certainly could. Just uh, tell it to do so. But now I enabled live prediction so I can change the number of bathrooms to say 2 and uh, you'll see that the prediction did change. I can change the number of finished square feet to a different number and you'll see that the predicted value did change and change the age as well. You can even change the style to one of the seven styles that it knows, say Rambler just to see what difference uh, you'll have in the predicted value for the selling price. Now behind this, of course, is some sort of, I can't say equation, it's really a method, it's a neural net that takes the five input variables, bedrooms, bathrooms, finished square feet, age, and style, and uses the weights that are produced for its neural nets, its neurons, to come up with a price. Now remember, some of the residuals were actually quite large, so you shouldn't exactly uh, treat the predictions as being correct. But that's not a fault of the neural net. That's a fault of the fact that we did not include enough variables for it to train well to be able to predict selling price. You can have as many of these uh, live predictions as you wish. You can sit here and change values as much as you want and see what effect that has on the predicted selling price. In other words, you can use your neural net to predict.